Lost and found. You done with it? Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go. Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Well, fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son of a bitch. We're looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey without me. Barnsby? He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among the decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay for your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity! <laughs> Colonel Jeremy Barnsby never laid down his arms when the Confederacy surrendered. He raised an army of disaffected southern soldiers who weren't yet ready to admit defeat. He led his men west through Arkansas and Oklahoma, where they robbed banks and trains and hijacked supply convoys. Hounded by the U.S. Army, they were driven south to Mexico, crossing back and forth across the border, continuing to fight a war that had ended years before. Hunted down by the Pinkertons, Barnsby was captured in Arizona. He was awaiting extradition when my brothers unwittingly liberated him. I'll ask again. Why does Juarez need the weapons? There's three of you, so if I beat one of you to death, it's really not a problem for me. It's payment! For what? The medallion. Please, don't hit him anymore. William! He's gonna kill him, Ray! 
What medallion? Look, there's a legend about lost gold hidden in the hills outside Juarez. I've heard of it. What of it? The medallion is the key to finding the treasure. Juarez is exchanging the rifles for the medallion. My rifles? <laughs> yes, sir. But they're useless. He paid almost nothing because they're worth almost nothing. Who would trade for rusted old rifles that aren't worth spit? Apaches. Juarez is swindling them. Is that where he's headed? Apache territory? Yes, northern Arizona. They have a guide. Good. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Hang him high. What about the boy? He needs to hang, too. For aiding and abetting traitors to our glorious cause. How did you know? Those rifles were useless. Who told you that? Me. So leave alone. You? Well, that's interesting. And who told you? Can any of y'all move? <clears throat> me? No, they tied me tight. You see that saw? Cut your binds and untie us quick. But I don't know if I can... Easy, brother. You can do it. All right, now us. Come on, come on, hurry up. Someone's coming. Ready. Someone's coming. Take the chair, it's the only weapon here. Son of a- ah! There's more. Thank you, Lord. Point in fear. God is dead. They're running away! Don't Come over here! What now? Let's look around. You look around. Oh, brother, you jump and climb like a damn mountain lion. Me, I prefer firmer ground. You see a road? Yeah, downhill. <sighs> Great. Just don't expect me to do any running. Slowly. one of those death traps? at last. Now! It's for 
Nice job, brother. No one matches with the McCall. Are you kidding me? Kill him! How much are you paying this bastard? Hell belly! What the hell was that? It's a drawbridge. Try to get over there and lower it. Cover me. Saving my bacon. Say your friends. Good shot. Look out. Oh, this better be the end. Together, on three. Looks like we're stuck. I look around. There's an elevator. Let's use it. Oh, fine, but I don't like this. This time we don't rush in like a bunch of chickens with our heads cut off. How about this time you shut your mouth and let me do the thinking? Oh, is that what you've been doing? Thinking. The lowering mechanism somewhere up there. Someone will have to trigger it. I guess someone means me. I'm sorry, brother, but I'm just not too good with heights. Well, you're gonna have to learn. Because as soon as that elevator starts up, you and William gotta be inside it. 
Stay here and cover my ass. I'm gonna do a little jumping and climbing. Well, how the hell are you planning on getting down? I'll find a way. You got any better ideas? All right, go. But I'm saying right now, I don't like this. Come on, William. William, why didn't you tell me what Mendoza had planned? Thomas asked me to keep it quiet. He said you talk too much. <laughs> Someone is not being frank here. Are you kidding me? That sucker was dead before he hit the bed. Damn, brother, save some for me. Here it goes. Get inside, William. Lord, be merciful with us. Shooting. Thanks. Say your prayer. I'm true. Everybody still breathing? God 
damn it, I want out of this coffin. Well, they didn't even clear the damn holes. Two's hardly a challenge. You sure are all wasting a lot of bullets. Slowly. I've got him. Thanks. Here we go again! Horses! Look at those beauties! Yeah! And the best part is... They're on the damn ground! Let's take him and get out of here. Take cover! There's too many of them. We gotta divide and conquer. Now! I almost feel sorry for them dead son bitches. Really? No. Too far away. This has got to be the highest goddamn mountain I ever rode down. Gather the men, Sergeant. We should catch up with them by day's end, sir. I don't want to catch them, Sergeant. I want to follow them. To the Apaches? To that medallion. The riches it promises could help us to resurrect the Confederacy. We could raise a great army and break free from the tyranny of Washington, D.C. The carpetbaggers will be driven from our land Darkies will be back in bondage where they belong. We tracked down Juarez and I expected violence. But he told us that he had no idea that the colonel wanted us dead. He claimed that Barnsby lied to him as well. I'm not sure my brothers believed him. But then they never really trusted him in the first place. Besides, Juarez had the girl and was leading us to the medallion. It served Ray's purpose to keep the peace. As we continued on our way, there was a tense silence. The whole situation made my skin crawl. Seeing Farther was the only one I could talk to. And then one night he just up and disappeared. We had no choice but to continue on without him. Deeper into a wilderness few white men had ever seen.
No trace. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he went to take a piece and the Comanches got him. If that was the case, we'd already be dead. Come on, let's go. If he's still alive, he'll catch up with us. Go where? You know how to find that Apache village? To the huge weeping rock. That's what he told me. That's where the Apaches are. You see, we'll find it. You probably can see it for miles. Let's take a look around. Get over here! Look! The Weeping Rock. That's gotta be it. But we gonna have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. We found it. We gotta go around the pass and find a place to cross the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Mount up and keep your eyes open! Stay close to the wagons! They say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They cut. They scalp. They fill you full of arrows. They crack skulls open with hatchets. What are you trying to do? You scare me? Not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Indians! There in the bushes! Where? I can't see any! Stop the wagons! What did you see? In the woods! I saw one! Amigos, can you go see what Pancho was so afraid of? Hurry up! Thomas. Engines. Right. 